think I just cracked the most annoying content inside of Raid Shadow Legends as far as getting to the Gold 1 missions. Last night I went to bed in Silver 3. I woke up in Silver 4 with pretty good amount of defense wins, to be honest. And the arena teams I'm seeing are a lot easier than before. So let's talk about what changes I made and how you guys can hopefully get into Gold 1 as well and finish your Arbiter missions. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tairaku here back inside the free to play account and today we're going to be talking about gold one in the arena and how I think that I've cracked the code on how you can actually get from silver four the grind of silver even if bronze if you're stuck there into gold in the arena. Okay, so the matchmaking inside raid has been a little bit wonky um, a little bit un uh, pretty bad. Honestly, let's be just frank with it. It's not been great. The arena has been very rough. It's very weird though because like early game my account was cruising through the ranks. It was going good, and then all of a sudden, boom, got hit with like fully stacked legendary teams, very painful setups, the whole nine yards. But yesterday, well, two days ago, I made a video talking about the climb to gold one, because to be honest, I didn't rush this, this mission right here. I may have unlocked it had I been able to get to gold one, but I know, hey, once I finish all these, these are all easy. But once I get down here, I'm not going to be able to finish that, right? I wasn't, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish that, but I think I found a way for all of us to hopefully start pushing into gold one. So let's talk about it. Um, so in the previous video, I mentioned player power is how you get matched up. I didn't know this before, but apparently the lower your player power, that's how they match you up in these rankings, which it's in, in theory, it seems like it would make sense. Okay. If your player power is 200, 300,000, you've probably invested in similar champions and you should be okay. But when you see teams like this, where the person's player power is 295,000, but their team power in the arena is 141,000. It kind of goes to show you that this person is basically only getting player power from their arena team. So all their player power is going to the arena team. So what I've done is my team power, we'll go ahead and use an arena refresh, my arena token refill, my team power is 65,000. Okay. And my overall account power is 245,000. So I was trying to get my overall account power down as low as possible. My arena defense log is actually looking pretty good. But what I've done, obviously, if you guys don't know how to check this, this is how you can go in here and check it. Go to your player icon up here. You can see where all your player power is coming from. So, so champion power basically is the power from the champions you have, whether it's your food champions, your fully leveled max six star champions, champions in the vault, wherever they're at. These are just your champions power overall. Now, the artifact power, this is not the artifacts in your inventory, but the artifacts equipped to your champions. So realistically the only ones of these numbers you can affect reasonably is your champion power and your artifact power so if you get more champions you're going to get more power if you equip more champions with gear you're going to have more gear there or if you take the gear off the champions you're going to drop artifact power as well and if you feed champions you're going to drop champion power so what i've done is any fusion champions that i've been saving okay so going here to rosin all right we have the rosin fusion i was saving all these champions down here for this and what I've done instead is I took all these champions, leveled them up to four star, level 40, got them fully ascended. I was just going to wait until I had everything ready for Rosin, just leave them chilling in my vault, everything like that. But I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and invest in everybody and get them ranked up. The reason why is check this out. So Gore Mask is 1496 power. Now he is a champion used for the Rosin fusion. We have Templar 19. So basically 1500 a power per champion okay so if you have four champions 1500 power a piece we have 1500 times four i should do this math in my head Six thousand player power doesn't seem very significant but even a slight drop helps out quite a bit so we have four of those champions combined into one so we have six thousand between those four champions this one champion right here lich is who i basically fuse those champions into and lich has two thousand player power so you're basically saving about four thousand player power by going ahead and taking your champions who you could fuse for Rosin specifically, and going ahead and dropping those into that champion. Now, when you do that, don't level the champion up, don't ascend them, don't do anything like that because you want them to stay as low as possible and have as little player power as possible. Another thing I've done is I've made sure at least whenever I go to refresh my arena. So like throughout the day, if you're just playing around and you're not doing arena stuff like that, maybe not worry about it. But if you get a free refresh, go down here and try to clear up all of your two star foods, your two star, one star foods, whatever it may be. Because I've noticed whenever I have a bunch of champions down here, a bunch of two stars and one star champions, it adds a significant amount to my overall player power. So go ahead, level them up, feed them the best you can. And right now I've kind of crunched my account down to a pretty healthy spot where most of the champions here, I'm not probably going to feed them. Some of these rares I want to keep, I may use them down the road, but to be honest, I had some epic champions. I had a dupe shaman, 
who I didn't really need, I went ahead and fed her. I'm considering feeding some of these other champions, these epics, like this Umitogi, this dupe. Um, but she is helping my Shadow Confaction Wars, uh, Shadow, Shadow Confaction Guardians. And I don't really want to do that. So some of the epics I don't want to get rid of, but like Shaman, who I know I wasn't going to use. I think there's like one or two others. Be very careful when you do that, okay? Some epics in this game have just been power crept so far where they're not really that usable, okay? Faction Wars, you may use them, but be very careful if you're going to crunch epics. That's probably like the last resort I would do. Honestly, I bet I could even drop more player power from right here. 245,000. Let's see what we drop if we do this. So I actually went to my high elves and dropped some of these champions. I still have those champions in my vault, and I may go, go ahead and get rid of them, but I can fully fill out this faction guardian. But I dropped them all, and I lost like three or 4,000 player power from doing that. So we'll go down here to Shadowkin. Um, see if we drop some. Well, I, I forgot. I got like a short-term memory loss or something. 245, 245,000 player power. Go down here to Shadowkin. Go ahead and drop these off. And then let's see, so 245,000 down to, well, still 245. So not a big drop there, but if you have a lot of like um, high elves you're investing in, high elf rare champions especially, and you have the high elf rare faction guardians fully filled out, if you fully drop all those stuff off, you're going to drop player power. Now, when you get into gold one, is it going to be the same? Is it still going to be matching you based off your player power? I don't know, but I have found, like I said, the uh, the Relic Keeper Fusion. I'm going to be working on him very, very soon and going ahead and trying to finish all this stuff up. I've been leveling up these champions, level 30, level 30. Um, he's level four, he's four star and Sorceress is four star as well. I think that's her name, right? Um, it doesn't really matter what her name is, to be honest, but I've been trying to get all these champions condensed down the best I can. So if you're saving for Rosin Fusion, but you already have a group of four you can do, go ahead, fuse this champion right here, leave him level one, throw him in the vault and you should be good to go. I'm going to work on, well, I can't really control this too much, right? Hopefully I get some of these champions, uh, but it may take forever. It may feel like it takes forever. But once I get them, I'm going to go ahead and fuse them, try to get Rosin, well, try to get everything here as quickly as possible to get as low of player power as possible, especially for this arena stuff. But like I said, guys, this has been the best way that I've found to actually help you out in the arena. So you see these teams I'm going against. Let's go ahead and see if we can fight a few. So this team right here, 100,000 player power, that's pretty high. Got a speed booster, Rector Draft. I don't love this, but if we can kill him, <laughs> then we win, right? Of course. Pretty simple there. Uh, but the uh, Term Meter Booster from Gore Grab, the higher speed orb, that's just not a great setup. That was a bad pick for me. Can't blame that on matchmaking whenever I basically pick that brain dead, right? So let's go ahead. We'll refresh it, see if we get an easy list. But these lists look much, much better. And I'm in Silver 4. So like the last video I did, I was in Silver 3. The teams were quite the grind. But right now, like this team... It's my level. It's team power, 66,000. This is what I should be seeing the whole way down the list. Towards the bottom, the people are like 300,000 plus player power, which when they're at that high, somehow their 300,000 translates differently than my 300,000. And their 300,000 is like fully maxed out champions. This person right here with 292,000 player power, I bet they're trolling. Um, level, a six star seeker, they're, they're probably gonna beat me to be honest because Skull Crown Speed Aura, that's just gonna be so nice. Uh, speed booster but a part of me says hey i want to try it anyways but the other part says no let's not do it for this video let's let's resist the urge but teams like this level 41 person this, these are these are <laughs> these are good now this is probably a little bit lower i think i'm like level 51 so i'm a higher level but level doesn't really mean that much it just means you spent more energy basically but these teams i can actually handle them so i do think very strongly that i can get to gold one right now uh, maybe not right now in this video maybe actually let's see if we can do it That'd be a, an excellent video, I think. Uh, may have to use a refresher too. Relic Keeper, this dude right here, is actually crazy. Like, there's, there's so many times where he's popped off in the arena and just destroyed my entire team. Oh, no, we got to make sure we kill Ugo. If you don't kill... Guys, this is the most... This is frustrating, okay? If you forget about Ugo's passive, basically, if she's the last one surviving, she reses everybody. So if you forget about that, you're going to be quickly reminded whenever you have to wipe her out. And you can't because she has block damage. And then you end up dying because she reses everybody relic keeper goes off and you lose right it's simple as that uh, uh, but don't do this don't take this video as advice to start feeding all your champions by no means but the one thing you can do is take the gear off your champions because the artifact power that you're seeing that artifact power is from the gear that's equipped to your champions so i didn't stress this enough but i've taken the gear off of every single champion i have except for the core team that i use so my arena team rector drath and finchy those are the only champions who have gear on them honestly I may even take the gear off of Rector Draft if I decide to start pushing in the arena even more. So Rector Draft is currently contributing to like 20,000 of my player power. So come in here, look at her. 
I could drop this and she'd go down to like what? Uh, she's a six star, so Shatterbones is 5,000. She'd probably be what, like six or 7,000? So that'd drop 10,000 player power off my account right there. Finchy, another one, probably another 10,000, okay? So now I'd be sitting at, you know what? That's actually not a bad, bad idea. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. It's actually, do I have the silver to do that? I may actually do that because that's a pretty big drop to be honest. Um, but that's gonna be using some gems. Do we do that for the content? I think we do guys. Drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel as well. Very much appreciate it. Help me recoup some of these costs of dropping the gear off. But I really wanna show you guys how impactful this is. So we were at 245,000 player power a second ago. And if you say to this point of the video, hopefully you get this little golden nugget. Um, he was at 20,000. Make sure you're just removing it and not destroying this gear. Um, we'll leave these pieces on the bottom. I don't. I, I want to be careful with the amount of silver I use, right? Uh, Rector Drath, because I don't have unlimited silver. I don't have unlimited gems. Obviously, it's free to play. I'm testing this for you guys, so you don't have to test this, okay? Um, obviously, I can't test it on my main account because my main account, <laughs> I'm not removing all those pieces of gear from all those champions. So just now, we dropped a total of probably 20,000 about player power. Let's see. So 20,000 player power at 224,000 player power right now. So we should be seeing teams that are significantly lower, right? Um, let's see right here, 337. That's before, right? Before the refresh, 213, 204. So these are pretty low ones, 256. That was pretty close to where I was, 265. So in the middle of the road is about where I was. Towards the bottom is going to be higher than it. Well, 292, 290. I just want to get an idea, okay? This dude's at 337. I'm kind of surprised I'm seeing him, to be honest. Um, Apothecary, fast. It's a very high speed aura. So I think I'm just going to refresh this. And see if we get even easier teams. 210,000 at the very bottom of the list is 391. So that wasn't really worth it, doesn't seem like. 405, that went the opposite way. 266, I mean, we are climbing up higher in the arena, of course. Um, 251, these people are already in gold one. Um, down here, this person is, I guess, probably silver three, 1846, maybe maybe silver four. Um, but 18, 210, so that's not bad. I mean, a lot of these are not that bad at all. Like, these are more comfortable ranges, but honestly, I would just keep the gear equipped on my Finchy and Rector Drath. It doesn't seem like it made a significant enough impact for that to be a huge deal. But when I did drop from 300,000 down to 250,000, that was a big deal. That was a huge difference in teams that I was facing. It went from being teams that I just couldn't kill because of how much, how much tankiness they had to now teams that I can pretty reasonably deal with. Now, this team is probably a little bit lower than my account level. Like if they fought my account, they'd probably be thinking, this dude's annoying. Why is he so high in this level of arena? Because, I mean, my team's a little bit more built out. Full team of level 60s, except for Doom Priest. Maybe not then. Actually, no. Take the back. I only have two level 60s on my team. So my team kind of is looking pretty low. I mean, honestly, just do that. That's another big tip. I could tune. She doesn't need to be taken to six star. Don't take her to six star. Um, she mine's four star. It's perfectly fine. Um, six star fully ascended. She may get an extra base speed boost, but you'll be fine where you're at right now. This team right here. Hopefully I can handle it. I'm probably going to be pretty tanky. I don't know. Level nine Brogny can't be that big of a shield set, right? Who knows? Let's, I guess we're about to find out. Dang, Thylessia Thy about nuked herself. Holy crap. Okay, well, they messed me up. <laughs> they messed me up pretty bad. Dag on. All right, so level 48, that dude knows what he's doing. Um, we have this team right here. We're just going to do a few more, but I just want to share that stuff with you guys. Um, hopefully you can find some value in that, find some use in it. Actually, we have no more gems, so... I'm pretty confident now that I can make it to gold one. I think I can make it to gold one without too much of an issue. I'm still going to be refreshing the list. It's still not going to be easy by no means. Still have to have a well-built team. Still have to have all that kind of stuff put together. But now I can actually scroll through here and progress in the arena. My defense is actually winning some battles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wins. Um, one, two, three, four losses. So seven wins. Four losses out of 11, I guess. That's not bad at all. But either way, guys, hopefully you found value in that. Hopefully your account, you can kind of drop it a few, little bit in those levels to hopefully get you to the point where you can actually start competing in the arena a little bit better because this is a struggle. Um, it is difficult, but hopefully this helps you guys out. I don't think I'm going to keep the gear off of these champions because honestly, it didn't seem like much of a difference at all. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to leave the gear on these two champions. The first refresh was good. The first refresh had low level champions. This one a little bit higher level. Granted, we are higher in the arena now, so maybe that had some contributions to it. But either way, maybe I, I might as well leave the gear off of them for a little while, right? I'm not gonna use them any content right now. So I'll get some arena tokens, 
see if I can maybe push up, wait for a free refresh, and then we'll do a video if I get to gold one, if this strategy ends up working flawlessly. So, whoa, we just lost a match on defense. <laughs> All right, dude, thank you very much for beating my defense. Um, Gore grab faster than me, typical, the fast, but he's only 87,000 player power, which is very interesting because before I was getting hit by teams with much higher player power, I do believe. So 87,000, that's not crazy. So it's definitely a speed battle. He beat me with speed, he wins. That's really how it's gonna be throughout the game for a long time. Um, if I could get Hikatoon to be even faster, I would. I don't think I can make any speed upgrades to her. Let's see real quick. Maybe I can. I don't have very good speed glyphs. Um, to be honest, I actually I could get her a little bit faster, I think. Um, I think this helmet that my Finchy was wearing is actually a pretty good helmet. So we have a one speed roll, one speed roll. So if I got a helmet or a, a shield, so helmet and shield, let's see how much I could boost her up. If I can boost her like 10 speed, I'll do that. I'll take Finchy's helmet off of him, but he kind of gets quite a bit of value from that. So I don't really want to swap it. Um, we got six speed from that. Uh, chest plate, maybe. Maybe gives me some speed from there. We have a four star down there, so um, nothing significant, it doesn't seem. So we get seven speed from this, but this, okay, that was on Finchy as well. 234, um, I'm not gonna do that just yet. We'll do that maybe down the road, guys. But either way, thank you all very much for watching the video. Hope you all enjoyed, and good luck in your arena pushing. Hopefully you guys can get your Arbiter done fairly soon. Consider dropping some player power from these different re, uh, different avenues. Basically, uh, feeding your champions for the fusions, feeding champions who you don't really need, clearing up some of your space, getting all your food work down, unequipping some of your champions who you don't really need to be geared. So, like you'll see here, my apothecary, nobody's geared. Nobody's geared except for the champions I use. Everybody else not geared at all. Don't invest in champions who you don't really plan on using. Like, don't be getting a bunch of five star champions you don't plan on using and just leaving them there. Um, Hikatoon, if they don't need to go up in higher levels, whatever it is, don't do it. Just keep them down low, keep the player power low, and you should be able to find better tuned matches in the arena. So, guys, have a good one, and I'll catch you all in the next one.